Today, South Dakota Attorney General Marty Jackley gave the state's written notice in the case of Joseph Hook of Sioux Falls, who's charged with the death of Moody County Chief Deputy Ken Pro Rock. Ultimately, the state's decision is to seek capital punishment, also known as the death penalty. I would tell you that there is a lot of thought that goes into a decision like this. It's not taken lightly. Part of that process, I had an opportunity to meet with the victim's family repeatedly uh, and take into consideration their wishes and their thoughts. Jackley said in addition to Pro Rock's family, he also spoke with members of the Moody County Sheriff's Department to receive their input on Hook's punishment, who were in favor of the death penalty. Sheriff Troy Wellman expressed the overwhelming support their office has felt from all over the country following Pro Rock's death. Deputy Pro Rock was in and of himself a true hero, just the way he lived and who he was. Uh, the support that is upstairs is not only because of the lives that he touched just being a chief deputy or a deputy, but those are also lives that he touched personally. During the hearing, it was made aware that Joseph Hook is undergoing a 90-day mental health evaluation and will meet with a psychiatrist later this week. The defense has reserved the right to an insanity plea, followed by the prosecution reserving the right to a second opinion. So I would really, in fairness to the state and in fairness to the defendant, I would want to see what those reports say and then make an informed decision, certainly again in consultation with the sheriff's office, in consultation with the victim's family, uh, with Ken's family, uh, and that would all need to occur before I would take a position on that. The next hearing is scheduled for June 20th at the Moody County Courthouse at 11 a.m. Here they'll present the results of Hook's mental health evaluation. In Flandreau, Hannah Eckwall, Dakota News Now.